Hey guys, HDV here, and welcome back to a brand new video going over Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we have three different things to talk about. First of all, an image has been dug up about the Sword and Shield DLC, which kind of showcases a brand new Pokemon, but it might not be, but... Either way, we're going to cover that. We have some more information about Ghost Scorbunny evolving into Raboot in the Pokemon anime. And then from the Pokemon movie that's coming out this year could be a new potential flying on form. So whether that is a Galarian form or a Mega Evolution, could be anything, but we're going to be taking a look about that. So if you're excited for today's video, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 300 likes today. Make sure to leave a comment as well. What do you think about this new potential Pokemon? And also, what do you think about the Flygon form? And then subscribe as well if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this here channel. It's as free as the air that you breathe. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to be talking about this new potential Pokemon. So, this image was sent to me, and this is basically a screenshot of the Sword and Shield DLC. There's a couple more screenshots as well. Uh, one of them has, I think, Psyduck and Golduck in it, which basically confirms that those two Pokemon are going to be in Pokemon Sword and Shield, Isle of Arm, or the Crown Tundra. But this is the image that's interesting, because we obviously have Galarian Slowpoke here, but then this thing here is... Uh, I don't know. It could it could be anything. Um, now, first of all, I think it might be a Seedra, but at the same time, it doesn't it doesn't really properly look like one. So if we get a picture of Seedra up here, uh, which I do have, uh, we have this here, and I'm going to make this smaller and put them side to side. Do you think this is a Seedra? Now, straight off the bat, you can kind of see like this nose thing here. Um, obviously, that that's clear, clear as day. But then the rest of the body just doesn't add up. You can't really see the tail. I mean, you could kind of say it's that, but at the same time, it doesn't really look like it's something that would curl up. Uh, the main thing, though, are these like spikes. Like this thing does have spikes, but this kind of looks like a circular thing. Uh, with like small little spikes coming out of it. You can't really tell like uh, the, 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 about like three spikes coming off really. So it, I don't really know. It, it kind of looks like a, um, a long water type. It, it definitely has characteristics of Seedra. But at the same time, it doesn't properly look like one. Now, the water is clearly not very deep. Um, well, and then again, these... These slowpoke look like they're walking, but at the same time, they could be just swimming. Um, so this could be deep water at the end of the day. But uh, it does look kind of shallow, like you got the rocks there and stuff. But I don't know. I don't think this is a Seedra, but this is the only Pokemon that looks like it. And, and we know that Seedra is going to be in the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC in the Isle of Armor. Uh, because this is taken from the website. You know, we have Pokemon like Beldum, Nidorino, Ar Ar Aurorus. Uh, we have Cryogonal, Garchomp, Elekid, Celio, Crobat coming out in the Crown Tundra. And in the Isle of Armor, we have Chansey, Azuril, Dedenne, uh, Zorua, uh, Lycanroc, Magnazone, Volcarona. And then we also have Kingdra. So we know that the Horsey evolution is going to be in the Isle of Armor. Um, so that also helps maybe suggest that it is a Seedra, but at the same time, it it doesn't properly look like one. So what do you guys think about this? Do you, do you think this is a Seedra, or do you think it is a, a possible new Pokemon? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, again, I think it's a Seedra. I'm not saying it's a new Pokemon. It potentially could be, but I it, the, it looks a little bit like a Seedra to me. And the fact that Seedra is going to be coming out in the Isle of Armor, thanks to the website, that's where I'm kind of going with this, but at the same time, could be something completely different. So let me know what you guys think this is, uh, and and we'll have it. We'll have a discussion in the comment section down below. So that's the first part of the video. That's the potential Pokemon that I wanted to talk about. Next up, we have some new information about um, Ghost Scorbunny evolving into Rabu in the Pokemon Sword and Shield anime. Now, of course, I did make a video about this yesterday, going over uh, this this uh, image here that was um, shown. So this was taken off a. Uh, this uh, website, they accidentally um, put this image up, with, uh, which as you can see, obviously has Go, Pikachu, Ash, and then a, a Scorbunny Evolution uh, right here, which is of course Raboot. So this is obviously a closer picture of it. You can clearly see that that is, uh, that is Raboot. And now this image has come out as well. Now this is a quick uh, synopsis of the episode after the Gengar episode. So obviously the Gengar episode is happening this Sunday, 
this is the episode after that uh now this isn't taken from that episode because this i'm pretty sure is the episode from when they first see gengar and yampa gets frozen and then scorbunny just kind of thaws it out of the ice with his feet um but then this is the taken from um the the episode after the gengar one which says something happens to scorbunny uh scorbunny has gained lots of experience alongside go and when it discovers a new power it dot 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 question mark exclamation mark uh, kind of suggesting that that is going to be Scorbunny evolving. So obviously there's all this stuff about it as well. Um, you know, it's going to be happening very, very soon. And, and then the fact that this synopsis has come out is basically say that it's gained a lot of experience, which is obviously what you need to evolve. And it says when it discovers a new power, it. so I'm guessing it might learn a new move and then evolve even further or something. But um, yeah, kind of crazy that Scorbunny is most likely going to be evolving already. Like it was what, going to be 17 episodes in, I think. So um, again, I, I'm proper behind the idea that Scorbunny is going to be evolving into our reboot very, very soon. But what do you guys think? It'll be cool to see it evolve, but um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what uh, what happens with that. Um, so that's just something else that I quickly wanted to add into today's video. Uh, but the main thing that I did want to put in today's video is this new potential Flygon form. Um, so what am I talking about? This is what I'm talking about, this tweet here. So this was from Pokey Experto. I'm going to link this in the description down below. Um, and basically, I don't really know what language this is. I, I, I want to say French, but I'm not 100% sure. But basically what he talks about is uh, that these Takara Tommy Arts merchandising announced in June in connection with the Pokemon Coco film. So the Coco film, I think, is coming out in July. But this is some merch that's coming out in June. So uh, we have some gacha figures of Pikachu and Celebi, uh, Squover and Cramron, and then we have Cinderace and Inteleon. Uh, we have Pinsir and Ariados, Cottony and Nuzleaf, uh, Wobbuffet and Meowth, and then some question marks and Flygon, and then Celebi and question marks. So that could easily be um, just a rude um, with Flygon, but at the same time, why would they question mark that? Because we've already know about Zarud now, it's been revealed and stuff. Um, what a lot of people think this is, is a new form of Flygon, which again, could happen now flag on it is of course already in pokemon sword and shield but it could easily be a galarian form in the isle of armor uh, of course the isle of armor is coming out in june around the time that this merch is coming out and then the movie comes out in july so it would link up well uh, and then we obviously have seller being some question marks as well so again it, it could be zarud or zarude or whatever you want to say but at the same time we i don't know why it'd be question mark because we already know about it um but then uh this person here said i, I wish i could translate this but um Basically, I, th I think this person is just saying, like, um, new form of Flygon or something. Uh, we can translate some of them. Uh, I, I guess it's a rude day. That's what he says. Yeah, new form, especially for Flygon, please. Um, so people, people, a couple of people do think it is going to be a new form of Flygon. Uh, there are images where they show the term is what will come out on any page. Uh, and this says if other images ever put them. Um, so, yeah, we don't really have any images about it. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just something quick to run by you guys. And, I mean, Flygon is a Pokemon that does pop up quite a lot in this uh, movie. I'm guessing because just from the trailer alone, we obviously have this Flygon image here where uh, Coco basically saves Flygon from a falling tree. And then not only that, we also have, um, I, think it's, I think it's this bit. Yeah, this bit here where uh, Coco is falling down. Flygon's just knocked out cold. Flygon is just hurling toward his death. And then Zerude basically shoots this vine out of his arm and saves Coco. Don't know what happens to Flygon. I, I really hope he wakes up and flies away. But yeah, he does not look like he's waking up anytime soon. So... Flygon is a Pokemon that's popped up in the trailer quite a couple times. Um, so I don't know. I would like to think that it's a new form of Flygon, but at the same time, um, I don't know. It's, it has Cinderace and Inteleon as well. I mean, this is all to do with the movie. So the fact that Cinderace and Inteleon are in the movie, uh, Pinsir and Ariados, uh, Cottony and Nuzleaf, Squova and Cramorant. Now, we know Cramorant's obviously going to be in the movie. We know Pikachu and Celebi's going to be in the movie. Um, so it could be a shiny Celebi, uh, that one there, and then obviously something to do with Flygon. It could be Zerude, but at the end of the day, that's, I don't know, it's just something I wanted to run by you guys. Obviously, the main part of this video is what do you think uh, this Pokemon is here. Again, could be Seedra, you know, if I if I put them side to side again, could be Seedra, but uh, at the same time, it doesn't, it doesn't give me those, it gives me those Seedra vibes, but could be anything but that's basically everything that i want to talk about in today's video a lot of stuff too uh, that we have covered today what do you guys think I i'm more inclined to think that um this is a new pokemon more the more so than we're getting like a new flygon form um but again we'll have to wait and see i just don't know why they would question mark zarude like we already know about it so 
It says merchandising announced in June in connection with the Pokemon Coco film. So this is just all coming out in June apparently. So I don't know, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what uh, that is. But I'll link PokeExpert uh, in the description down below so you guys can go uh, look at these tweets. He tweets out loads and loads and stuff about um, some really cool uh, up and stuff. Uh, stuff. And then obviously, what do you think about the Scorbunny evolution? Again, it's probably going to happen very, very soon. And then, of course, what do you think about this Pokemon here? Uh, this is what I'm really interested about here. This is what I want to know. Uh, but that's going to be everything from me. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider hitting that like button down below. And make sure to leave a comment as well. What do you guys think about everything we've gone over in today's video? And subscribe as well if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this year's channel. That's everything from me, though. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace.